Hey guys, so you here with that a bit for Blender and this one we're gonna be designing kind of like a piece of a mech, mech bot or some kind of a robot. And we're gonna be using hard ups and box cutter of course and uh, most likely machine tools. Maybe I'm gonna be using mesh machine, I don't know yet. Just two words before we start guys. If you're interested in our guides, free guides, we have a whole page on blenderbrows.com. We recently gathered them all up on, in one spot, so it's easy to access. So you can have some PDF guides, but also we have handbooks and three tutorials. So you got this sci-fi terminal, this simple basic tutorial and this gun tutorial. So it's a lot of stuff in here. If you're interested, you could always check our Blend Bros membership program. Go to products and click here on this coaching and community. It's a fantastic deal. There are a lot of perks. You can read all about them in here. Access to 12 or 13 now courses immediately. And Deagle and Trim Sheet Packs. Also, there's a massive forum with a lot of helpful people. We are very active in here as well. And also, there's a 15% discount on all premium releases. So, really good deal. So, head on to blenderbros.com and check our website. Shift A and let's grab a cube. Let's uh, scale it on Y axis. So make it a bit wider and actually a bit taller as well so you know we can cut it we can cut the inside of it and maybe a bit wider as well actually that's maybe too wide something like this maybe so we're going to you know slice it with an angle on from the top first so let's grab an angle on and we're going to go from here slice it like this uh, you can hold control to disable the the angle lock and we're going to in fact let's go this way let's do something like this and like this and maybe go thinner here slightly at an angle and then cut it like this and like this all right and then go here and here and then we're going to press b for bevel and let's uh, introduce, um, let's say, six segments is enough, I think, for the time being, okay? And cut. Cool. By the way, I mean, I mean view cut, so shift V view. If you're an object, it's not going to work. You need to be in view. To cut from the top, you mean orthographic, that's why we need to be in view mode. Here, too, we're going to slice it like this, hold control, and uh, cut it like that. And maybe straight here, and then cut it here, and maybe thin it out here like this, and then B for bevel and slice it. Cool. So we got this kind of a piece, and now we need to cut it, you know, across. Now to be able to see where the bevel ends and starts, what I'm gonna do is go here to settings and click on the wireframe. Well, let's change the color of this verse because I can't bloody see anything. I mean the edges. So let's go to viewport or was it themes and viewport and then let's go to edge active object. Let me see that. Yeah, you know, something a bit more telling. Maybe. Maybe this would do. Or that. There we go. Safe breaths, okay? So with this one, um, we're going to cut it here uh, like this. Hold control. Move it somewhere here. Maybe maybe straight cut is okay. Move it up here. Then move it here. Move it down. Maybe slightly lower. And then here at an angle. Down here. And then somewhere here maybe. And upwards like this holding control back here press b and we're going to introduce six six segments on each of these and x and slice and we're gonna delete that and this is gonna be our main shape now this is quite close here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this actually so i have a scroll right and let's just uh, move that so let's go to uh, edit mode and we're going to move this cutter outside the range of this bevel okay 
So select them both and G, Y and move them simply outside. So I don't want, you know, these two bevels to overlap because it's going to be a bloody disaster. Same in here, you know, this is overlapping. This is not ideal. So we're going to G, Y and move it in and do something like this. And it's going to be much better for our mental health. Okay. And here too, G, Y. Just move it a bit closer here, make it a bit more steep, and then, you know, how we're looking, we're looking peachy now. What I'm trying to avoid is uh, overlaps of bevels um, on, you know, there's a bevel here and there is a bevel here. And if you overlap them, you need to perfectly match them um, in terms of width. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a bit of a problem in terms of, uh, you know, connecting these edges here too. I think I'm going to go to... Uh, to ever scroll and move this one here so these two don't overlap as well okay shift two and you know peachy so now we can select this one and we can go to settings and turn off the wireframe cool cool and with this what we need to do is we need to create a cutout inside of it so here what we're gonna do is select this object gonna go to to operations so we're gonna shift click on smart apply which will duplicate the object and apply all the modifiers and it will remove uh, the bevel okay so in the way and also everything is gone i simply want this face here okay so i wanted that face i want to inset that so press i to inset this now don't go too crazy with it because you're gonna overshoot it like here you see that if you're gonna inset too deep you're gonna overshoot it we can fix this with mesh machine and i'll show you how to do it but you know i don't want to overdo it so something like this would probably do okay and then Control i invert it and delete the faces now let me show you how would i fix this with you know mesh machine okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this edge and control select this edge press y and i'm gonna go to unfuck and this will basically fix my problem you see so fix a problem here right fix the problem here and let me see um this one is fine these ones are a bit tight, but they're going to be okay. This one is a bit tight here, so let's just, you know, Y and unfuck and boom, right? It's a bit better here too. Could be a little bit more, you know, loose. You can go to a uh, vert mode to see it better. And just going to relax these, you know, these um, angles here a little bit. Okay, here too, you know, we could select this entire edge, I think. And try and fuck. Now it's gonna grab too many of them, so let's select this one and then fuck and just you know just relax it a bit. Let's go to edge uh, vert mode so you can see what's happening. Why and fuck and you know boom right now we're gonna solidify that. So we're gonna go to um, modifier solidification. I'm gonna press two to solidify it both ways. Okay, like that. Let's go back here. And this is a bit too thick. I want to cut it through, but I want to go too thick, you know, on this one. So G, uh, X, and move it inside here, like this, so we can cut through the entire mesh, because the mesh is bent, you see. And then shift click and difference, right? So now we got this cutter here going inside. And you can see that this cutter actually here could use a bit more of a, of a sort of, a, you know, relaxation. So let's grab, uh, let's grab this cutter go to edge mode and let me see that grab this and uh, y and unfuck and just relax this a little bit more and here too grab this one and y and unfuck and relax it a bit more perfect let's see that back we don't have much more space left here but we could still relax it a little bit okay so you know unfuck and just relax it a bit here in the top two, we could do the same thing. Okay, so select this and, you know, fuck. There you go. Select this cutter and fuck and just relax it. Cool. And here is okay. Uh, we could cut it from the top or we could cut it with an angon. I'm thinking maybe angon is going to be a good idea. So let's grab an angon here and let's slice it like this, maybe. And shift click so we can actually go here. And we can adjust it uh, to, you know, to create some kind of an interesting shape here with that. But I think maybe we can do this later on after we finish. 
we're gonna create some connecting beams all right so let's go to uh end gun and we're gonna turn off cyclic which will allow us to draw a card when you press t you can solidify it and make it thicker which will uh you know by doing so we're gonna be able to draw cuts like these which are pretty cool press t to make it a bit narrower and you know and boom and that's cut number one you could run you know somewhere here we could cut uh, run cut number two and then select this cutter again and we could run um you know a bit of a thicker cutter uh, cut here so press t to merge them like this okay boom and then we could run a cut here across so somewhere here and this one doesn't have to be so thick and we could also hold control uh, control to uh, make sure that the uh, the angle is freed uh, here we could cut a circle uh, so we could grab a circle and you know cut a circle in here we could increase the circle to i don't know uh, maybe 40 40 verts you can see the verts on top here maybe 40 is not enough but we can see how this is gonna look i think it's gonna be okay so we could just move this circle you know somewhere somewhere here make it maybe make it make it smaller shift x make it smaller and you know drop it somewhere here and um you know this could do and shift two and here we could run another cut so we could run a cut you know somewhere here like this okay with uh, with an angle so another cut somewhere here let's just turn off side click again so another cut here and slot whoa we need to select the cutter so have a scroll boom and cut one more time here one that's maybe a bit too close maybe somewhere here and then another one here and we could run this one to that circle here like this right so there is a cut and then we could run a cut you know to the bottom here right one and we could run two more cuts here so one like this and let's say you know i don't know one like this right and it's kind of interesting conundrum here or oh, something like this actually this could also be interesting maybe like this All right you know and this is an interesting frame here so let me see that you know ever scroll and we could just go to local view with that cutter and it's gonna be really tricky to run them when we have bevels so we need to kind of double check if we you know everything is peachy here this one is a bit tricky here but we can fix that so we're going to apply that okay so operations and smart apply and now we need to fix this cutter a bit okay so these two they need to get you know sort of met they need to meet in the middle so we're going to move it with machine tools so i'm selecting these two okay shift selecting this one and then with machine tools i'm pressing alt a and bottom which will basically align these verts to this vert okay alt a and bottom right and then i can merge them for example together so i could grab this vert and merge it in here grab this one merge it in here you need to have a line pie menu enabled with machine tools for this to work now this one is a bit tricky but i think i can remove these edges here uh let me just try that dissolve edges there we go we can dissolve this one too because we don't need it and this one we're going to you know bevel like this right and we're gonna add well possibly more than six maybe eight segments here i'm mean, gonna grab these and you know grab a run a bevel here and run a bevel here then we can run a bevel here as well and i'm probably gonna make it uh, wider so maybe 12 segments and we do need a bevel here but for this to work we need to merge these um you could actually dissolve this edge to be honest and you know run a bevel in here uh, we could run a bevel here very easily right we could run a bevel here very easily and this one's going to be another problem and this one actually curves now it's flat here so we can kind of remove these um you know and just run a bevel here and we can't because there is an edge here and just dissolve that and then run the bevel here like this that's cool this could be a little bit lower so you know just drop it down 
uh, to curve it a bit and that's that we could easily run a bevel here and then we can just simply you know select these shapes here and run some bevels on it i'm selecting the sharp edges and just running a bevel and here too uh, running a bevel and then we're going to run a bevel here on these corners This one could be already a kind of a shallow one. Uh, there is a, some kind of a vert situation here. So combine them. There we go. And uh, run like a relaxing bevel over there. We can run some bevels in here. And uh, there's a double vert in here, right? Let's combine these. Okay. And then, you know, run a bevel here and run the bevel here okay and this should work this one i'm gonna leave alone uh, um although we need a bevel here and we could run the bevel here okay but before we do that we need to delete that edge and we could just you know run the bevel here let's say with i don't know um four let's well, just six segments something like this right let's see how we're looking we're looking pretty decent actually shift two and you know you get this kind of a nice curvy form and we forgot about one more edge which is here and i think this should do yeah all of these edges are you now curvy which is great we're going to uh, drop a cylinder here and i think well 32 is not enough let's go with i don't know maybe 50. might be a bit much but uh maybe Maybe let's go with 46. And GY, move it in here. RY, 90. Scale it a bit and move it somewhere here. I'm going to move it somewhere here, right? Cool. And I'm going to sharpen this. I'm going to duplicate this mesh. Okay. S, X, scale it. And S, shift, shift X and scale it in. And I'm going to cut this mesh. Okay difference so what it's going to do is we're going to cut this frame in a circular fashion so when i'm going to combine these two meshes and i'm going to create an extrusion inside of this cylinder it's this frame is not going to be poking through okay to the inside because the cylinder is going to be hollow so make it a bit wider and so uh, you know move it somewhere here like that control a apply scale and we're going to run some loops yeah so we're going to loop here security loop here here and then control b and you know like that these are a bit too far away so let's move them in and gg and move them in cool and then we're going to check this and we're going to extrude it so inset it and then extrude it and scale it then insert it some more and then extrude it and you see now this frame doesn't go through the cylinder so when i marry the cylinder um everything's gonna be peachy okay so now gx and just move to the end and boom we in fact we can remove this face in the middle so uh, we got this kind of a situation okay cool now we can uh, mirror this uh, this element across but before we do that we're going to uh, move this whole thing to more or less the middle so let's grab this um, element and we're going to apply cutter here okay so we got some problem here though seeing this so let's check if everything is okay outside that we could have some kind of uh, um, bubbles in here as well on in this area to be honest let me see that ever scroll hmm Yeah, we could fix this one, to be honest. GG, and move it here to the middle. We could actually, you know, completely remove this, uh, to be honest. We could move this one up here, like this, manually. Remove these two, so dissolve, and just simply bevel this with eight segments. 
and no one's gonna know so shift 2 and this one we're gonna fix manually so you know simply sharpen that thing and we're going to run um, a face here so select these this one this one and these and F and then we're gonna run the face here you can see that we got some problems here so GG and move it in here GG and move it in here in fact we could collapse this one there we go select these and uh, select these and F and then select these two and then connect the rest of them and there you go sorted cool all right now we're gonna move this whole thing to the to the right side so move it somewhere here on x-axis and we're gonna mirror this across this one like that okay cool let's save it we need some kind of uh you know connecting element here for sure so let's grab a cube and let's you know expand it and scale it on y axis and move it somewhere here and let me see that it needs to be somewhere here in between s y and scale it a bit like that cool scale it down a bit all right and scale it here gg and move it down okay and we're going to apply scale and then go to edge mode shift alt click here to uh, control b and four six yes yeah, six segments is enough and sharpen and let's see how we're looking yeah we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good and of course we can cut this right so you know we can we can create some cool cuts in here for example we could create a end gun like cut okay so we could go here like this right we can mirror this to the other side b one more time you know grab a cut like that here and b and cut through it okay recall this cutter and run it without cyclic again so we could run a cut here just let's scale it down a bit and let's run a cut like this okay and we're just gonna simply copy to the other side boom and that's actually quite interesting and this would also be cut in the middle or maybe with an angle here like that okay you know b let me see that Mm, 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 mm. We need to make it wider. Um, something like this, maybe. That's a bit too wide. Mm, that's gonna be problematic. This is gonna be area of a problem, right? But we could try this, you know. We could try this. Uh, we could try this. Let's see that sharpen. Now let's let's try to battle this yeah you see that immediately we're gonna have issues here so what we need to do is before we actually apply this we're gonna have to run some bubbles on this one so we're gonna have to run some you know sort of security loops here okay and then when i'm then I'm, when i'm gonna apply this hopefully everything's gonna be peachy i was still need to do some cleaning here but this is minor you know minor stuff so um, you know, let's apply the booleans and we're going to merge this with this one. So, union, and then we're going to apply a bevel on the whole thing. So, bevel, and we will need to, you know, here on this cutter, we're going to have to uh, play with some some values. Before we do that, let's ever scroll this and let's just move it a little bit on y axis deeper so it's not so close to this edge here. 
Uh, well, you, you always gotta watch your edges, guys, because that's you know that's what's gonna mostly mess your mojo. Okay. Here we could create some cuts in this mesh, so we could create some you know like cylindrical uh, cuts. So what we could do is go with uh, uh, a cut here like that. Okay, and we're gonna cut it in. Right, we're going to scroll down to let's say I don't know, um, maybe thirty-two segments. Yeah, why not? Actually, let's go with thirty-four. And Shift T to taper it in like that, and Shift click, and we need to move it a bit because you can see that it's just uh, interfering with some edge over there. And in edit mode, right, select everything, shift D, and in orthographic, let's just move it somewhere here. And we could move it somewhere here. And we could move it somewhere here. And we could probably move it to the top, although I think this will do. And, you know, boom, right? And you got something like this on both, edge, both sides. This looks pretty cool to me. Now we're going to create some cuts in here, so let's just, you know, grab that and we could uh, drop a cut in here. So let's just do it again and B and boom, that looks good. Now this one should be merged here as well, so booleans and union, shift 2. And you can see we got some bit of a problem here, but... Uh, once we merge everything, it's going to be peachy. So modifier, let's go to operations, multiply. This will apply everything. And you can see clearly that there is some, some little, you know, a bit of a beef here, but we can fix that. Press three to clean it. Now this artifact here comes from this loop. So we're going to dissolve this, but we do need to run some security loop here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a cut here like this and press K for knife and slice it with a knife. And we're going to simply GG and move it in like this. Okay, so shift S and origin to cursor and we're gonna simply mirror this to the other side. Boom, and that's your mesh cleaned up. There's a bit of an artifact here, but you know, if you're not gonna tell anyone, no one's gonna notice, okay? Besides, I probably I can remove it by removing this edge. Let me see that what's going on here. Oh, simply this bevel is too thick, so we need to move this edge a little bit lower. So GG and move it in here and we're done. Boom. Now we're gonna get this a bit, a bit of an artifact here, but maybe we can fix it with weighted normals. There we go, fixed. Last thing what we could do, we could introduce a bit of a chamfer on these uh, edges, okay? So let's, uh, you know, power save this. Before we do anything else, we're gonna have to create connecting edges that are, you know, a bit more fortunate than this garbage uh, and match all these bullions. So I'm gonna run a cut here like this with um, a bull and press K for knife and slice it. So that's one, so I can remove these two. And I can remove the same edges from the, uh, from the inside, although yeah, the one is here. This one gonna go. And this one gonna go as well. And this one. There we go. And yeah, this can stay. It's fine. This one here on the top is awful, so we're gonna run it differently. So here we could run another edge like this. Uh, okay. So we can remove this one this one and probably this one let's just uh merge it here like this all right so we can get rid of this garbage we can probably manage this a bit better so run something like this here and run something like maybe like this okay so we can remove this this one is not needed, uh, so what we could do is run it here, um, or we could just simply run the edge here and remove this one. This one needs to stay because there's no connection between these two, so we're gonna run it. Now I can remove that, perfect. This one is not needed, uh, and the rest is 
fine ish fine ish well this one is terrible clean it with machine tools let's connect these two and connect these two and remove this rubbish there we go and the same should be done here in the back uh, I don't know what this is but this should be faced up and you know cleaned there we go sorted right awesome so what we could do now is run uh, sharpen and we could run a uh, chamfer here so select these edges uh, here okay press y and select and l select and we could control b that and just run a delicate chamfer on on this entire structure here like this this could add a little bit of a flare to this frame and we could lower the bevel on that thing so i just lower the bevel a bit and quite frankly we don't need the sharp edges anymore so we can select everything and unmark it's going to create a smoother bevel uh, without any artifacts it creates some cuts in here so we could uh, grab an end gun in fact what we could do is grab this bit we could control click on curve extract and go to local let's just insert this like that and control i to invert it and delete all the faces and then we're gonna grab that and solidify press 2 and let's clean that with 3 cool and we're going to cut it so you know difference right and then we're going to uh, grab this cutter and select these edges here oh this is solidified so let's apply solidification solidification should be on the top let's just apply that and we can remove the bevel because it's going to be a bad idea always remove bevel from your cutters in fact and weighted normals has to go as well and then we can create you know a bit of a bevel here just a small one um and let's cut it with an angle okay so we're going to turn off the side click and you know just run cuts here like this right and then we're going to grab that and we're going to apply that so operations smart apply and we're going to run a bevel on uh, on these edges but first let's clean it with machine tools there we go select all these vertical edges press w to turn off the mirror which is um, not the mirror the um, box cutter we're gonna bevel these first okay and then we're going to gg that a little bit further away and you know bevel these and uh and we're done shift 2 and boom and this is pretty cool this is pretty cool so we could do with the bottom you know here we could just run some interesting stuff in the middle so we could just you know do something like this and let's say em macro and drop it in or out and you know here we could just grab another loop and gg and then ef to flip it and control um, control b and then em macro and insert it in select that sx scale it and then simply mirror to the other side it's already mirrored that's cool all right guys and then you can you know keep on playing with this thing for example here we could have some cut so i could grab an angle and you know cut some stuff here like this but before we do that or in fact we could do it with a with a box shift v and you know nearest edge and we could draw a box here like a box cut and uh, we could just uh, you know cut it like this right shift click and then rotate it so r z z uh, that's not gonna work uh, let's just select one of these faces and let's uh, go to custom orientation there you go r z or r y there we go and just rotate it like that okay cool 
and then we're gonna have to adjust it so rotate it here like this move it somewhere here right and it's a bit disorienting but what are you gonna do now it's gonna clash here with our model so let's make it bigger and move it somewhere here on the top let's see what we're gonna get uh, move it deeper and rx r and s as let's just scale this a bit more move it somewhere here there we go and uh let's see that that's an interesting cut and grab these two and grab this edge here and gg and reload this and then gg move it like that right and you know bevel how we're looking we're looking pretty peachy we're looking pretty peachy okay good 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 and there you go it's gonna be a bit of a shading problem here though because the topology here is not ideal you know we should be running some kind of supporting loops here for sure Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a bastard, okay? So, you know, uh, you may want to run some stuff here to accommodate for this curvature. And this might help a bit with the shading, okay? Uh, shading is not going to be ideal because, you know, there's a lot of angles and curved surfaces. This probably should go here. It would probably be better. Just dissolve that and dissolve this edge or even here and dissolve that there we go and this one probably should be running somewhere here which again is going to introduce some kind of a bending here but this could be you know um, fixed with another edge running this way uh, quad boys at the moment are getting a fucking heart attack i'm sure but uh, I couldn't give two shits. So there you go, kind of fixed. Remember, it's not important what your topology as long as you don't need clean topology, okay? All you need is clean shading. That's what matters, right? So, you know, when I say usually it's fuck topology as long as you get the results. If you need good topology and quads because you're going to be bending, curving something or... I don't know, using your model for VFX in movies, then it's a different story. But if you're modeling something for renders, this is perfect. You know, no one's going to be whining about that. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Hope you had fun. It was actually a pretty cool exercise. This could be an interesting part of a mech or some kind of, you know, like a framing for a, uh, for a knee or, or a shin or some kind of an arm for a robot or something. It looks pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.